Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 17 solution of assignment problem using enumeration method. The learning objective of this lesson is to use enumeration method for finding the optimum solution of the assignment problem. Before moving to directly enumeration method, let's take a simple example that is two by two matrix and solve it with a visual method. A department having two employees want to assign two types of tasks for each employee. So the following uh, table shows how much time each employee needs to accomplish each task. Here, as you see, Ababa requires 11 hours to accomplish or to do task one, and Ababa requires 16 hours to finish task two, and Kabeda requires 20 uh, hours to finish task one and 13 hours to finish task two. So since since the number of employees or the number of tasks here is small that is a two by two so it is possible just to use visual method or just to use estimation estimation method by watching the time required to accomplish each task for each employee for example look above can accomplish task one in faster way than task two so we can assign uh, Ababa for task one and Kabede can finish in a faster way Kabede can finish task two in a faster way so we can finish Kabede to task two like this right so this is just estimation method because it's a two by two matrix but if the matrix is higher that means higher than two by two matrix it is very challenging or it is very difficult to use just visual method. In this case, by the way, the time required to accomplish both tasks is for above 11 and for Kabeda 13. So the total time required will be 11 plus 13, which equals 24 hours. And if the number of employees or the number of jobs are more than two, we have to use another method that's called enumeration method. Let's solve this example using enumeration method. Uh, the example is a department having three employees want to assign three types of tasks for each employee. The following table shows how much each employee demands or requires to accomplish each task. As you see from this table, Ababa requires 11 to accomplish X job and 16 to accomplish Y job, 21 to accomplish Z job. And uh, Kabeda requires 20, 13, and 12 to uh, accomplish X, Y, and Z respectively. The Lega requires 13, 15, and 17 to accomplish X, Y, and Z jobs respectively. And here is a graphical representation, by the way. Here is a graphical representation of this assignment problem. Since we have already said that there are N factorial possible way of assigning the task so for this uh, three by three matrix for this three by three matrix we have three factorial possible way of assigning the task we have three factorial possible way of assigning the task so three factorial means three times two times one so there are six possible ways six possible ways of assigning the task and we have to list down all the six possible ways and we have to select the assignment having the least cost requiring the least cost to, uh, to accomplish all the tasks for example let's assign a to x we require 11 and b to y we require 13 and c to z we require 17 so we have to add 11 13 plus 17 like this a to x b to y c to z and we have to add all and we have to get the maximum the amount of the time with this pattern of assignment and having listed all this uh, assignment having listed all these six possible ways so the next is just to select the one which requires the minimum amount of uh, cost the minimum amount of cost so as you see here it 
requires 41, 38, 53, 41, 47, 56. So among these, 38 is the smallest time requires to accomplish these tasks. So this combination means A to X, A to X, B to Z, and C to Y. So this is the pattern, or we can uh, make like this, A to X, B to Z, D to Z, and C to Y. This assignment requires only 38, 38 units of uh, maybe bir or units of uh, cost. So we can graphically represent like this. A is assigned to X, B is assigned to Z, and C is assigned to Y, as you see. As you see, there is no other assignment which makes or which requires less than this amount. Let's see the drawback of enumeration method. Since there are n factorial possible way of assigning tasks, so it is very difficult, by the way, if the number of employees or the number of tasks are higher numbers. For example, for four employees and four jobs, we require 24 possible way of assigning the tasks, 24 look. So we have to mention down all the 24 possible combination and we have to compare which one requires which one requires less amount of cost or less amount of uh, time for five employees in five jobs we require 120 possible ways of assigning task look and for six that means six employees and six jobs we require 720 possible way of assigning the jobs and if there are seven employees and seven jobs, so we require 5,000 possible way of combination. Look, it is very high number and it's very difficult to list down all these combinations. So this is the main drawback of uh, the enumeration method. It is not applicable for higher numbers. And in that case, in this case, by the way, we have to look, we have to look another method that is Hungarian method to solve, to find out the optimum solutions of the assignment problem. Thank you for listening. This is all what I have for today, and we will meet with the next lesson that is Hungarian method. Till then, have a good time. Bye.